This is a video on how to do a delivery on a 2018 Limited Platinum Highlander. First thing I like to do is pair the customer's phone. So you want to go to the settings, then you want to go to Bluetooth, and make sure the Bluetooth device is on. Then you want to come over to the vehicle and press the phone button, and it will ask you if you would like to pair the phone now. And you tap yes. It should take a couple seconds and it'll show up under the searching devices. You should have a couple notifications. It's allowing you to ask you to sync your favorites and contacts. When you see this screen over here for Apple devices, you wanna come over to connected, tap on the eye next to connected and tap show notifications so you can allow messaging. With most of our vehicles, you have to download connected applications. So for Apple, you wanna to go to the um, App Store, and for Android, you wanna to go to the Play Store. For this vehicle, we need Intune, and then just press download. It'll look like this when it comes up, and then we're just going to connect to the vehicle. Or you can come over to account linking. You can link the customer's Pandora device, iHeartRadio, Slacker, OpenTable, MovieTickets.com, or Facebook. And that's what it looks like when it is connected. We have set up the customer's device with the eligible applications and their Bluetooth. We then go over every single button in the car, starting with audio. You have your AM and your FM. All of our vehicles come with three months free of Sirius XM that they can sign up from calling the 1-800 number for Sirius. We also have Bluetooth connectivity, so if you want to play anything from your phone, you just tap play from the phone and then it'll go through your audio speakers. Go to the customer's favorite radio station and press and hold. The radio station will be saved to one of these pre-saves and you have 36 pre-saves. On this list you are able to save AM, FM, and Sirius XM. If you tap on station list you are going to see a categorization of all of your genres. If you like country music, tap there and you're going to see all the country stations in your area and etc. If you tap on refresh, the list will refresh to whatever area that you're currently in. You can go to sound and you can adjust your treble mid and bass and your fader and balancer here. Also able to tap pause and pause live radio for up to 20 minutes. If you are on a phone call, you would be able to resume the station from where you left off when you answered the phone call. If you go to your home screen, this is what the customer will be looking at as they're heading down the road. You have driver speakeasy, so if we turn the volume on high, and turn it on, there should be an echo. There is a speaker from the top of the head unit all the way to the back of the vehicle that allows you to speak to the back row without um, having to yell. You have your speed dial right here. Press and hold, wait for your contacts to come up, and you are able to add up to four people to your speed dial on the screen here. You have your navigation over here, if you tap it, it also comes all the way open. Also get to your navigation by tapping Applications and Navigation. Tap on Destination. Down here you have six presets that you can save down here. Tap on it and you are able to set an address for state, city, street address, and then the street number. If you don't wish to save anything down here, you can go to Address. Once again, state, city, street address, and then the street number. If you don't know the address, you can go to Point of Interest and tap out the name, and you will see all of the corresponding names in this area. You have previous destinations. Your car will save up to 50 previous destinations, and then they'll start disappearing. If you want to save anything to your address book, there will be a mark button with the blue flag right over here. Tap on mark, and it's going to save to your address book. You have up to 100 pre-saved entries there, and you can edit them and delete them from this tab. One of the reasons why we suggest you download the Intune application on your phone is so you can use web search. 
If there is ever a time where you cannot find an address from the map card right here, then you want to go to web search and destination search right here. It will use your phone's data to find you a more precise Roll location. Over, then you can see emergency. You can view your police stations, your hospital, your Toyota dealerships or fire stations. Tap on the one you want to go to. You'll see the distance it is away from you. If your phone's connected, you are able to call them or just press go and it's going to take you straight there. You can view your intersections and freeways and your maps and your coordinates if you'd like to do longitude and latitude. From your apps, you also have your phone and your messages. You also have a phone button over here. Right now, you're looking at all the contacts in your phone. You can scroll through with the arrow, with your finger, or tap on the letter until you get to the ones you're trying to go to. If you tap on star, it turns blue and it's over in your favorites. Your call history for anybody who has previously called you, and then your dial pad to dial out anybody's number that you know by heart. If you accepted the message request, whenever you receive a text message in the car, it is going to ask you to read, ignore, or call. If you tap on read, it is going to read it out through your speakers. And if you tap ignore, it's going to go to this list over here. And you won't see any content of the message unless you come back to it at a later time. You can go to eco and you're going to see every 15 minutes to 60 miles per gallon how much energy and gas you're using. Your average speed that you have uh, been going in the car. The elapsed time. And then the range in miles. You this car currently has 29 miles until it needs to be filled up. From applications, you can go to traffic. You will be able to view your traffic event list so you can see any collisions or construction going on around you. You are also able to view a predictive traffic map. You can view up to 45 minutes of what might be happening around you. From applications and scroll over, you also have weather. If you tap on current weather, you are going to see the current weather, your three day, and then your six to 12 hours. You can go to national cities and you are able to see any national cities that have an HD weather signal and see how their weather is going to be for the next three days. Also view your weather map so you can view a radar of what is going on around you. Maintenance, you can set anything here by either date or by mileage. You need an oil change every 10,000 miles and it's high rotation every 5,000 miles. iHeartRadio, Pandora, and Slacker are all music listening devices where you have to have an account to listen. You have to be logged into the Intune application that we downloaded on your phone at the beginning of the tutorial and you are able to view your account exactly how you can see it on the application. Tickets.com you are able to see a list of all of the theaters that are in your area. You can also view the movies that are playing for today, and you can also see the times that the movies are playing. If you log into your MovieTickets.com account from your Intune application, you are able to purchase your tickets from the uh, screen on your car. Open table, you are able to log into your Open Table account from the Intune application on your phone, and you can look at the restaurants in your area that have open table on their register and you would be able to request a table from your car and it would be waiting for you when you get there. Facebook places, you can log into Facebook from the Intune application on your phone and you would be able to check into the places that you currently are at. From Yelp, you are able to see restaurants, entertainment, um, nightlife hotels. If you tap on one, you will be able to see what is in your area by distance. You can see the price point, the type of food you're gonna get, the star rating of what the customers have left. You can read the reviews from here or just map it and it'll take you straight there. You are able to save your favorite sports teams and look at their views and standings. You can also look at your stocks that you invest in and see how they're doing over time. You are able to view all of the gas stations in your area by distance or by price. You can also change unleaded mid-grade or premium. Down here you have your basic climate control. You have your driver's side, your passenger side, and your rear temperatures. If everything is on sync, then whatever happens on the driver's side will happen on all sides. If your passenger wants to be a different temperature, you can adjust that from here. Or if you need to adjust your rear passengers to a different temperature, you can do that from here. 
your front defrost for your front window, your rear defrost, and your side mirror defrost. If you tap auto on, then the intensity of your fan will adjust to whatever temperature you have set. So if you go higher, then the intensity of your fan will go down. This button right here will circulate the air throughout the cab. This is going to be the intensity of your fan, the direction of your fan, and then your rear temperature compartment. You have all the books that come with the vehicle as well as a charging pack. In the charging pack, you get a 12 volt charger with two USB connectors on the end of it, two Apple cords, one is three feet and one is six feet, and then one three foot Android cord. You have your 12 volt charger right here. You have two USB chargers here. And then from here, you have a USB charger and you can play music from this port here. You also have an auxiliary cord here for music as well. Down here you have your traction controls, your snow for any snow related weather, and then right here you have your normal traction control. Every car since the 80s has had a traction control button on it. You want to make sure that's turned on so you can prolong the life of your tires. This limited platinum you have heated and cooling seats. So if you're in the middle then it's off. If you go to red you get heated seats and if you go to blue you get cooled seats. From your middle console you also have a 12 volt charging station and a tray for easy separation. Have a sunglass holder and conversation mirror here. Have your pre-saved garage doors here. With any Highlander that has our Safety Connect system, you get one year free trial. We all, we go ahead and sign up the customer when they buy the vehicle, so their free trial starts the day that they sign their paperwork. You have your lights here for the vehicle if you want the doors to turn the lights on when they're open you tap there or if you want every light in the car on you tap there this highlander is equipped with a panoramic sunroof this one right here will open and close the screen this one if you pull back then it is going to bring your sunroof all the way back If you leave it like that, it'll vent about two inches from the rear. And then to close it fully, just tap forward. Any vehicle that is equipped with our Toyota Safety Sense, you have radar dynamic cruise control. To turn on your cruise control, you tap this in and it'll say radar ready in front of you. To set the speed, press down and you can take your foot off of the accelerator. To cancel that speed, you can either tap on your brake or pull this towards you to cancel those speeds. This is how you activate your radar cruise control. Tapping this with your cruise control on gives you 150 feet, 125 feet, or 100 feet in front of you. As an example, say you're going 60 miles an hour on cruise control, but the person in front of you is only going 50. You will slow down to match the speed of the person that is in front of you, and you will stay exactly 100 feet away from them until you go around them or you get out of the way and you will automatically resume the speed that you had previously set. Also a part of our TSS, you have lane departure alert. Tapping this on and off from here. After 32 miles an hour, your vehicle notices the lanes on either side of you. If you start bumping in and out of your lanes, your wheel is going to give you a tiny nudge to keep you in the middle and it will also alert you with a beep. This wheel right here will change the information on the screen in front of you. From the italics die, you can go down and see different information pertaining to the vehicle. You can go sideways and you're going to see your compass, your radio, your lane departure and cruise control we just talked about, and your automatic stop start. For your automatic stop start, you have to have your seatbelt on, you have to have traveled for more than half a mile, and whenever you come to a complete stop at a stop sign or a stop light, your vehicle's engine will cut off, but everything will remain on inside of the cab. The second you take your foot off of the brake and move over to the accelerator, your engine comes on and you are able to proceed. You are able to turn off the auto stop start feature. That's off and that's on. And the button to do so is right over here. Your messages, so if you have any maintenance that needs to be done on the car, it'll show up here. 
and then your settings for all of your TSS. From LDA or Lane Departure Assist, you are able to change the steering sensitivities and your sway warning sensitivities. Pre-collision system. After 10 miles an hour, your car will notice other cars, pedestrians, and larger animals. If you are coming up too close on something after 10 miles an hour, your car assists you on braking. It is not a complete braking system, but it does help. From blind side monitoring, on each of your side view mirrors, you have blind side monitoring. So if somebody is in your blind spot, it'll show up orange. If you have somebody in your blind spot and you have your blinker on, it'll beep at you to let you know somebody's over there. You can turn power mode on and off from here. Inside of your steering wheel, you have your answer and decline for your phone calls. If your customer has an Apple iPhone, you can press and hold your answer button and Siri comes up and you are able to ask her to call people for you, text people for you, ask her your schedule or the weather. Over here you have your volume controls. The up and down motion here will go through your pre-saved radio stations on your radio. And then you can press and hold here to turn off the radio or turn off the volume on the radio. Right here you have voice recognition. You are able to ask her for a location. When she comes on, you can say something like, take me to the nearest Walmart and she will show you a list of all of the Walmarts that are in your area. This vehicle is equipped with automatic lights. Whenever you turn on auto, the vehicle will notice if it is too bright outside or if it's dark and it's going to switch from your daytime ring lights to your nighttime lights for you. Press them out and you are going to have your bright lights. Down here you have your automatic bright lights. If you have this turned on, then if your bright lights are on, your car will notice if it is too bright outside or if another car is coming towards you and it automatically will dim your lights so you are not blinding the person that is in front of you. Down here you have this view button that is only equipped with our limited platinum. If you tap on view, you are going to see a panoramic view of the entire vehicle on your backup screen. power back gate right here if you press and hold it comes up and then once it reaches its full height you are able to press it once again and it will close down here you have your heated windshield your heated windshield will heat up the actual windshield instead of using your defroster heated steering wheel and your parking assist every single one of our cars comes with a backup camera but if you have parking assist on, it will allow you to view how many feet you are to the thing that is behind you. Change bucket, your hood, and then your gas tank, and the gas tank is always on the driver's side. Here you have your emergency brake, to turn that on, press it all the way down. To turn it off, press it down once again, and it will release itself. The button right here will extend the seat outwards, going this way. You can adjust the seat forwards and backwards like this. You can adjust just the front of the chair or just the bum. You can do your back here and then lumbar support right here. Limited Platinums, you have your pre-saved seats right here. You want to adjust your mirrors and your seats exactly how you like them. Press set and then one. Once you hear the beat, it is set to your specification. The first row of your rear passengers, you can move the seat forward. You can adjust just the back of the chair from here. And then if you want to fold the chair all the way up, you do one and then two. And you have a flat seat. You have your lock button right here for anybody in the rear and passenger seats. If you have this lock button on, they are unable to let down their windows. For each of your windows, you have automatic. So with one tap down, it goes all the way down and one pull up, they rise all the way. Front seat of your rear passengers, you are able to control your rear climate control. This is the intensity of your fan. This is the temperature of your air. This is the direction of your air. And then your automatic button right here as well. Same thing that it did in the front. Also have heated seats on the limited platinum. If you turn it on here, the high front seat and then low front seat. And then your passenger 
high front seat, low front seat, and off. You have a 12 volt charger right here and two USB chargers here. The back lift gate, you want to slowly pull until you get to the height that you want to set. You want to press and hold and wait for the beep. And then it every time it opens, it will stop at that height. Each one of our vehicles that comes off of the Reinhardt lot is equipped with Toyota Care and Toyota Guard, which includes four years or 45,000 miles of no cost maintenance with roadside assistance. The reason why we do these deliveries is to ensure our customer satisfaction. Every customer will receive a customer satisfaction survey that will rate the dealership from non-exceptional to truly exceptional. We strive for truly exceptional on each survey.